In this video, you'll be learning how to create a digital copy of your storage units. The Inventory Browser offers an overview of all storage locations in your lab. By adding freezers, cabinets, and even more, you can create a virtual representation of what is available within your lab or organization. Begin by navigating to Storage Units under Configuration. Then click Add Storage Unit. You may select from the options available or create a custom storage location. When configuring a custom storage, you may select one of the default location types or create a custom location type. Once you've entered the name and selected a storage type, define the different compartments within the storage unit. Add simple segments or sample containers, or create custom compartments. You may add as many compartment levels as necessary to ensure a complete graphical representation of your lab. Specify the compartment numbering with numeric, alphabetic, or Roman symbols. You may also create a custom sample container type. To do so, you must define the column count and row count. When more than one sample is added, you can define the compartment orientation to indicate the direction in which samples will be added. Once you've completed the storage unit compartment configuration, you may proceed. In the final configuration step, specify the physical location of the storage unit. Click Finish to create the storage unit. You can now see the storage unit you have added. Navigate to the Inventory Browser to finalize the setup of your new storage unit by adding the required number of compartments. Locate and select the newly added storage unit under the navigation. Click the Add button, followed by Add Compartment. You can add multiple compartments at once by selecting the corresponding checkbox and entering the number of compartments you want to add. You may wish to add more compartments at the same level. To do so, follow the previous steps. To add a new type of compartment, such as a 96 well plate, just click the Add New Compartment Type menu option. You only need to add a custom compartment once. Once added, you can find this new compartment type as a new option in the drop down menu, which is available when adding a compartment. This allows you to fully customize a freezer to match the exact configuration of the physical device in your lab. You can easily move around compartments to different locations using drag and drop. Activate additional edit options by using the right-click action and clicking Edit. Here you can edit the name as well as other compartment information. If you need to modify the configuration of the storage unit, Navigate to Storage Units in the Configuration menu. From here, you can create a reservation. To make a reservation, click Add Reservation and fill in the fields provided. You will need to specify the location, the individual reserving and the reservation time. Note that changes to these features are restricted to those who have been assigned permission. Next, you can view a heat map of the storage unit space. 
The heat map provides a clear representation of the available storage capacity of each location indicated by colouring. The colour spectrum is from green to red, where red means that the selected location is full. You can also duplicate the storage unit by clicking the corresponding button and inputting the necessary fields. Lastly, you may edit any additional information, such as the location, or delete the entry entirely. For more information, please visit elabnext.com.